RI presents Sea people mountain people erosion Continued last time Ready to explore the cave Ryoji drove to Kushiro in the early morning after arriving in Kushiro, Ryoji finished his meal and drove to the Hakato ruins to find out where to explore the next day. He relied on his memory to drive, and the memory seemed to be correct, and he arrived at the entrance to the Hakato ruins smoothly. to the intersection and went a little further, slowing down where his car had stopped last time, moving slowly and looking around, but he couldn't see any unusual scenes and decided to go further. Then, the historic site Hikato Ruins Exhibition Pavilion was found in the place where it advanced a little. He became interested in signs and buildings that he had not seen last time. There is no well-maintained parking lot, just a small square as a parking lot, and one car and one motorcycle were already parked. When he parked his car a little away and went outside, there was a museum building in front and a road to the ruins on the right. First, he decided to go to the exhibition hall. When he signed the notice of visit and entered the museum, a history DVD of the ruins was aired in front of a replica of a pit dwelling in the Jomon period, explaining the transition from the Jomon people to the Ainu people. In addition, excavated objects and photographs were exhibited with explanations, and the area of the ruins was 2.5 kilometers square, and all excavations had not yet been conducted, and the whole picture did not seem to be understood. I didn't know there were ruins from the Jomon period in Hokkaido. Looking at the materials on display, he was convinced that the cave must be part of this ruin. He wanted to see the Hakato ruins as soon as possible. And when he left the exhibition hall, he hurried to the Hakato ruins. Then, in front of the fence, he was surprised to see the signboard. Beware of the appearance of bears. Involuntarily, really, the reason why he had voiced it was that he thought of this area as a place of cave search. I have to be careful, he thought walking beside the fence to the ruins. After he continued on the road for a while, he came to a slightly wider meadow. When he looked closely at the grassland, he 
saw several depressions in the ground reminiscent of a group of dwellings. But as he went a little further, he remembered a sign that read attention to the appearance of the bear, stopped on the spot, and looked around for any clues, but the forest blocked his view and no new information was available from where he was. wanted to check, so he stopped checking the situation from here on out and reluctantly turned back. On the way back, he wanted to see a little deeper, but he was a little confused that he hadn't thought about taking measures against bears. When he got back to his car, he was convinced that the cave was most likely part of the ruins and drove to his next destination. The destination is the place where he escaped from the cave. His memory was ambiguous because of the exhaustion when he escaped, so he wanted to decide where to look for the cave. Exiting the parking lot, he turned back from the Hakato ruins and turned right on the T-junction at the end. He thought... I think it took less than 10 minutes from here to where I got in that man's car. However, there are no landmarks of the place, and I only remember the impression that the scene was a hill. As he drove and looked at the scene on the right in the direction of travel, an observation deck appeared on the right. But since the observatory was not the goal, he drove past it and checked the condition ahead. thought about the time until he left the cave and returned to the road, but all the memories were too vague to be helpful. He was not sure of his memory, so he decided to check all the similar scenes. After a while, the trees on the right side decreased, and the view opened up a little, and he could see the distant scenery to some extent. After moving a little further from the place, he parked his car on the shoulder of the road, got out of the car, got close to the guardrail, and looked out over the scenery ahead. found a similar hill a little far away. However, the memory itself is a memory when it escaped from the cave and was in a state of mind release. First he decided to check from this place and then explore around. spot, he looked around a little, and the confirmation of the place was finished. Tomorrow, we're finally starting his exploration. He braced himself, and although it was a little early, he entered the inn he had booked and decided to get ready for tomorrow, so he got back in the car and drove to the inn.
The road to the inn was simple, but his memory was different and he got lost a little. After that, he managed to reach the inn, parked the car in the same place as last time, and headed to the reception of the inn. I'm Sakai, who made a reservation for the room. When he turned to the counter and said the man who greeted him was the face to see for the first time. Today's story ends. The next one will be updated tomorrow. Please look forward to to my channel. See you again.